Five years have passed and there's a new Robin. Robin is Nightwing, and McGann is with Lagoon Boy who replaced Aqualad. While working in the Watchtower, Adam Strange was accidentally teleported to the planet of Ren. He discovered that someone had been stealing their Zeta Beam technology and the Krillitans fit the bill. He met a scientist there who gave him a device to track down the Krillitans. They arrive at the base and manage to evacuate the hostages just in time before it blows up. Zeta Squad arrives in Ren to investigate what the Krillitans were doing. After some running around, McGann and Beast Boy get captured, but Connor is able to rescue them. McGann finds the general and reads his mind but does this to him in the process. Connor gets mad at her, but she says she figured out what the League did when they went missing, which is that they were busy reminding you to subscribe. Miss Martian explains that the Krillitians paid off the Science Council to do their work on Ran, and now they're doing the same thing on Earth by abducting and replacing humans. Furthermore, Vandal Savage sent the League to Rimbor and they attacked everything on site, which caught the attention of the Krillitians. McGann finds out that they have a secret base inside a volcano, so they head on over there. Calder reveals that he's now working alongside his father Black Manta, and threatens to blow up the volcano, so everybody evacuates and it explodes, and the League embarks to stand trial in Rimbor. Connor takes Jaime with him to investigate a group known for smuggling alien tech. The bad guys use the device and summons a rock golem to fight Connor and Beetle. Blue Beetle tries to communicate with it, but right as they're about to help it, a signal comes out of nowhere and blows it up. Roy Harper returns home to his wife Cheshire, who shows up with their daughter, and she has a lead on the real Roy Harper. The team splits up to investigate Boomtube activity in Bialya. They run into trouble in the form of Simon, so Wonder Girl runs in to warn the others. A while later, they manage to free Batgirl who flies them out of the hangar along with the other prisoners. They find out that Queen Bee is delivering abducted humans to an unknown associate of the Light, and Jaime's friend Ty is one of them. Nightwing figures out that the Krolitans are looking for something called the Metagene, but all of a sudden, this guy arrives and runs around their base. He's Bart Allen, aka Impulse, and he's from the future. He runs to Central City to meet the Flash family, and they run out to stop a guy called Neutron. After exploding, he becomes even even more dangerous, so Impulse tosses a device to stabilize him. 40 years into the future, Impulse is explaining to Neutron how he's going to save him and change everything as we see Mount Justice in ruins. Meanwhile in Tibet, Cheshire and Roy fight their way through a temple and find the real Roy Harper. Nightwing sends the team to ensure the success of a rocket launch. During the flight, Connor reveals that they broke up because she abused her powers, leaving her victims in a catatonic state, and she even tried to make him forget that it even happened. The rocket launch is a failure, and Calder kills Artemis. As everyone is mourning over the loss of Artemis, the four of them meet in secrecy and reveals that not only is Artemis still alive, Calder is on a deep undercover mission to infiltrate the Light and their new partner. He gives Artemis a necklace that conceals her identity and she leaves with Calder. Roy wakes up in the hospital and finds out that he's been missing for 8 years. He gets mad at Ollie for giving up on him so easily and runs away. He makes a pit stop at a bunker before heading to Metropolis. After an encounter with Lex, he leaves with a new arm and a new name, Arsenal. Black Manta wants his son to prove his loyalty for the Light. He assembles Pulls a strike team and makes his way to Mount Justice, where he defeats his former teammates and abducts Blue Beetle, Beast Boy, and Impulse. To make it look even more convincing, he blows up Mount Justice. Pleased by his actions, the Light welcomes Calder into their circle. The secret partner of the Light is the Reach, led by the Ambassador. They're studying the Metagene, which allows certain humans to develop superpowers, and they want to duplicate and weaponize it. The team makes their way into the ship to free the prisoners. McGann runs into Calder and does her thing on him, but discovers the truth too late. Impulse finds Blue Beetle and tells him the reason he came back to the past is to stop him from turning evil and starting a reach apocalypse. After a close encounter with Black Beetle, they all escape and return home. Before they get a chance to warn the public about a potential invasion, the ambassador announces that they're here to help. Despero is an intergalactic gladiator and he locates some worthy opponents on Earth. He easily defeats everyone, but they turn his eye powers against him and defeat him. Following the revelations of last episode, Jaime asks to have his scarab removed. Adam and Bumblebee try to cut off the scarab, but its defense mechanism is too strong and they abort. It can't be removed. The team investigates the new LexCorp farms and gets a sample of the additive, but they're spotted and Black Beetle shows up. Outmatched, they run into the cornfield and meet Green Beetle who helps them escape. Black Manta summons Simon to repair Calder's mind and assigns Tigress to protect him. Instead, she drugs Simon and suggests that Miss Martian put a trap into his mind and that she's the only one who can fix him. So they kidnap her and try again. And Green Beetle agrees to help Jaime control his scarab. The kids are tired of running tests, so they decide to run away. But before leaving for good, they help Blue Beetle stop Red Volcano. They go their separate ways. The kids meet Lex Luthor who offers to help, and Jaime meets with Green and Black Beetle who are under the control of the Reach. Mongol wants to rule the entire galaxy and sees the Reach as a threat to his plan, so he pulls up to Earth on the War World, a planet-sized weapon. The team finds their way inside to stop him, but he's too strong for them. Bumblebee turns the tables and reroutes the power to his chair and they defeat him and shut down the War World. Under the control 
Battle of the Reach, Jaime takes the key powering Warworld and suffocates the team in the airlock. Black Manta grows impatient and tells McGann that she has 24 hours to cure his son, except he's already fixed and they need to figure out a plan to get her out of there. Cheshire and Sportsmaster sneak onto the ship to avenge Artemis, but McGann shows them the truth and everyone sneaks back out. Lex gives the kids a father box which they use to teleport onto the Warworld. Arsenal finds and follows them to a room where they're keeping everyone and they get into a fight with Black Beetle. Deathstroke takes this opportunity to steal the key, as they release Mongol to distract Black Beetle and release the rest of the prisoners. The kids find out that they were being used by Lex and go their separate ways. McGann breaks up with Lagan and the team traps Blue Beetle in a bubble and takes him to a temple in Bialya. Green Beetle shows up so the team has to protect Zatanna as she performs a spell which frees both Beetles from the control of the Reach. During a meeting between the Light and the Reach, Ra's al Ghul rips off her necklace revealing Artemis. Deathstroke shoots them both for their betrayal and a holographic recording reveals that the Light has been playing the Reach from day one. McGann reveals herself to be Deathstroke and the rest of the heroes show up to take them out. So Black Beetle betrays the ambassador to pursue his own agenda. The people of Earth finally find out about the Reach's true intentions and revoke their invitation to stay on Earth. McGann arrives in Rimbor with new evidence and convinces them to release the Justice League. Blue destroys Black who destroyed Green Beetle's Scarab and finds out that his plan is to destroy all evidence of the Reach trying to conquer Earth by destroying it. He placed multiple devices across the globe which will create crazy natural disasters, but the team manages to disable all of them with the help of Luthor. Except Beetle just discovered that they missed one, and it's already activated. The Flash has tried to siphon its power, but Wally is too slow and he gets zapped out of existence. In the end, they manage to save the world but at a great cost. Bart takes up the mantle of Kid Flash, and Vandal Savage uses Warworld to arrive on Apocalypse for a handshake with Darkseid. Please check out my channel for more videos like these.